How to force bleed your own water heater. We have a schematic of a normal boiler system. Water goes out of the boiler through the expansion tank through the zone valve to the radiators where it gives off heat. It comes back, passes the service valve, which is the faucet, which is closed, passes the boiler return valve back into the boiler. Before proceeding, turn off your boiler. You have a zone valve for the zone you'd like to bleed. Turn it on now. You shut off the return so water will not go back through the boiler. It'll come all the way through the system. Connect this to a hose. Have this set up. We're gonna take our hose and put it to the street so it'll drain. It's tight so that there's no leakage. We can open this. We'll open this to charge the depressure. You'll hear a rush. The valve should be used to charge the system gradually with city pressure. And while you're doing this, you have to monitor the boiler pressure within about 12-15 psi for most systems and to avoid relief valve activation, which will just spill water out of your boiler to keep the pressure within the safe limits. You don't need to apply a lot of pressure on the valve or even fully open it in most cases. The system will automatically put water into your system. And now we're bleeding. We can let that rest for this cir simple circuit for a 900 square foot apartment in two zones. We're gonna let this run for five minutes. Any air in the line should come out of this hose as it comes through. Water is coming. From the city through this pipe, full through boiler, up to the heating circuit, blow out any air, and then back out. We can do everything in the reverse. We'll turn the city water pressure off by toggling the switch down, and you'll hear it come down. Close this. Now we could take this, bring it back down to normal. Get this nice and tight. We can now disconnect the hose, making sure that we don't splash water everywhere because this hose is still full with water. And you could do this for however many zones you have in the house. And it really flushes the air out of the entire system, not just one radiator. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.